The Fortnite Association of America is saying that 73% of Americans are doing this wrong. Are you one of them? What is up, athletes? So, I was checking my Snapbook and my Insta chat and my Facegram accounts the other day, and I kept seeing this posting. And I was looking through the comments. I was looking through the comments, and I saw about 27 different answers. All right, and the caption said just like this: "This math problem is killing the internet. Can you solve it?" So my question is to you. Before we go further, go ahead, press pause after I finish and try to solve this problem. I'm interested in what you think this answer is and comment down below. So today what we're gonna go through is the order in which we should perform certain operations, right? Operations, addition, subtraction, division, did I say division? Uh, taking square roots, multiplying, dividing, did I say dividing? All right, the order in which we should do certain operations, okay? And what people get wrong all the time is they learn about this saying right here, P-E-M-D-A-S. So people learn the acronyms, but they don't really use this correctly. So for example, a lot of people say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, where I'm from, what we say is, please excuse my dear Aunt Susana. Alright, and what these acronyms represent is a order in which we use so that we don't make up math, so that everyone does math the same way. There's just some rules that we follow, right? We have rules for everything, so why not have rules for math? Alright, so that's what we're gonna look at. Reminds me of when I was a little kid. How you doing? All right, so here we go. Let's start with the P. The P represents the parentheses, right? We do the parentheses first. And when we say parentheses, we gotta be careful. That doesn't mean everywhere you see parentheses, that's where you operate. What you do is you look to see inside of our parentheses, do I have more than one number in here that's being operated on. So for example, see how we're adding the one plus the two? We have more than one number in here and something's going on with these numbers. In this example, these numbers are being added. So according to our order of operations, we would do what's inside of these parentheses first. Whatever is happening inside, that's what we would do first. So that's the first thing we always look at, parentheses. Write that down, you might forget. All right, so let's go ahead and do those parentheses. I had to put my glasses on because I don't know what the heck I was pointing at. All right, so we're gonna work on these parentheses first. Notice, nothing happened to that six. So, boom, we just drop it like it's hot. Nothing happened to that two yet. So we're gonna drop that two. And what we do is we go ahead and we do what's in parentheses, one plus two. And so, as you hear the person next to you, they said seven. Don't let them help you with math, ever. All right, now that we've taken care of the parentheses, some people are like, oh, now I'm gonna go ahead and I have more parentheses. No, 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 right? Because inside these parentheses, notice, I only have one number. So that's not what we, we... That's not what we are referring to when we say parentheses, okay? So parentheses, check. If we had more parentheses, we would continue the march, but we don't. Second thing we look for, exponents. Exponents. If you haven't learned about exponents yet, don't worry about it. But if you have, rem here's a reminder. We're looking for powers, right? So for example, something being squared, right? And if we were to see this, Remember, that just means three times three, right? We have two copies of that three and they're being multiplied. In this case, we don't see any exponents anywhere. Let's make sure. No, we're good. So let's just copy this down. You don't have to copy it down, 
but my producer is telling me I have to copy it down. So I don't want to get fired. So let me copy it down. He's a mean man. All right, here's the next thing we're going to look for. But come here. Don't tell nobody. It's multiplication or division. You got to be really careful. All right, really careful. And when I say whichever we see first, what you're not doing is like, oh, there's a multiplication. I saw it first. No, no. When we're doing math, it's like reading. We go from left to right. So whatever we see first, that's what we do when it comes to multiplication or division. So notice in this problem, we see a division sign before this multiplication, right? Because that's what the parentheses mean. The parentheses really tell us the two and the three are being multiplied, right? That's what it looks like here. But from left to right, we first see the division. So let's do that first. All right, bless you. All right, so let's go ahead and do six divided by two. So six divided by two, that leaves me with three. All right, and let me go ahead and tell myself that's where that three came from so I'm, I'm gonna let myself know and you let you your, your is it yourself you let you forget I said that you let you know that that three came from six divided by two and then we're gonna multiply that and all we're gonna do is you didn't touch this three so just copy it on down right it, that three didn't do nothing to you leave it alone so that three, we're gonna bring it on down. All right, so let's do a little rewind. Six divided by two gave us this three. So let me actually write this in red here. And then what else I'll do is let me underline this three in blue and I'll put it right there. Just so you know that this three is the same as this three right there. It'll help you out later. Trust me. All right, so, so all we have left is three times three. And so the only thing we can do now is multiply, so we get nine. So if that's what you got in your comment below, tell them what they've won, Johnny. Two prizes for the price of one, an electric bike and a new motorcycle. So there's our first example using the order of operations, all right? So if you're ready, I know I am, Let's go ahead and do our second example. But before we do, make sure to like, subscribe, and then we'll get started right after you do that. Go ahead, I'm waiting. Three days later. All right, thanks for liking that. Um, let's go ahead and let's do example two here. And now that we have our order of operations down, Let's go ahead and let's go through this a little faster. All right, so first thing we check for, parentheses. Oh, there we go, we have our parentheses, right? The two plus the one. So what I want us to do is everything that we don't touch, right? All you're gonna do is bring it down, you copy it again. Whatever you do, right? Whatever operations you work on, that's the only thing that changes. So the two plus the one, right, that became three. Right? I don't care what your mom says, it's three. And then the plus four we didn't use, so we drop it on down. All right, so parentheses, I'll put check. Do I have more parentheses? No, right, because we said in our earlier example, right, this three is the only thing in parentheses, so that, that doesn't count. Next, do we have exponents? Something raised to some power. No exponents, good. I don't like them anyways, check. M multiply, but don't forget, it's multiply or divide. So what I'm gonna do here for your notes is I'm gonna box them together because we said we always go from left to right. So in this case, we don't have any multiplication and we don't have any division. Perfect, so we'll check both of those. We don't have any more multiplication or division. Well, we didn't have any to begin with. And then, last thing to check for is addition and subtraction. 
So let's go ahead, just like we did, and I'm gonna group those two together. All right, add or subtract. And what we said is we move from left to right. Whatever one you see first, you do first. Isn't that right? All right, so let's go ahead and we see the subtraction first. So we subtract. That four, you didn't touch it, bring it down. And last but not least, we add and we get 19. Boom. No! It's an expensive pin. So that's it folks, just follow those 239 steps and you're done. All right, so hopefully this video has been helpful. Again, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, Let your kids watch it! Oh.